have made it to Canberra Airport. We're about to fly to Perth and then going to Broome tomorrow. My bag is ridiculously big, but we are on route now and we are excited. We have made it to Broome. If you can't tell by the like red dirt behind me, we're in the outback. So this is Sienna and I's little tent here and the mom and dad have their van back there. It's our little setup for the next couple of nights. It is so warm. I literally had to run straight to the pool and go for a swim because it's like 30 degrees here and it is insane. But yeah, the flight was good. It actually took ages to get here. Like it took us like seven hours of flying all up, but we stayed overnight last night in a little airport hotel, which was a bit of a drama. I'm gonna get into that. But anyway, yeah, we made it. I will, we're going to Sunset Drinks on the beach tonight. So I will show you, but we're just having a chilled afternoon because we're all pretty tired. Um, but yeah, so check in and so we made it. So we have just made it down to Cable Beach for the first time and it is stunning. The sun is just starting to set over there. It's so pretty. We're going to have some bubbles and some cheese. Um, yeah. <laughs> It is our first morning here in Broome and we have just run down to the beach. It's perfect for running. Look how flat it is. I'm taking off, so I better get going. But we are on our run. What have we found there, Jess? Online camels. Are we in the desert? I think so. I feel like these are a little bit misplaced on a beach. <laughs> okay guys, a bit of a shaky footage here, but I'm coming to you from the running track. On the way on this running track, I saw apparently a venomous caterpillar. Like, I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, and I'm taking mum back because she wants to see it. What a weirdo. Um, so we're keeping our eyes peeled. <laughs> this is the said track. official morning here so I just showed we went on a little run and we have to move campsites it's kind of annoying because it does we are literally carrying our tent to the next campsite so we have to make it again because we're here for two more nights we're just have some brekkie now and then we're gonna have a beach day today because it is so nice and sunny <laughs> there goes our home <laughs> Okay, so we are at the beach now. It is stunning. It's literally like 10 a.m. and it's already like 30 degrees. It's insane. We just went for a little swim and the beach is down here kind of scary because there's like potential crocodiles, jellyfish, sharks, and sea snakes. So it was a bit scary, but it's patrolled. It's really okay. And the water is so blue. So next time I go for a swim, I will take my phone down and show you guys the water because it is stunning. But I'm just reading my book now. It's an aeroplane, a seaplane, if you can hear it. We also drive cars on this beach as well. It's fun. But yeah, I'm so pale because I'm just gonna lie in the sun for a bit, read my book. I'll show you guys the water when we go in. So we checked out of the caravan park this morning and Tina and I are staying in a little hostel, which is so nice to have four walls and a bed because it has been so windy the last couple nights, so it's a treat. Just came down to the little local market. It was so cute. I will show you guys some footage here. We had some dinner and now we are walking into the outdoor cinema in town, which will be lovely. So I'll show you guys that too and I will check in tomorrow. Look how red the dirt is. Like, that is insane. two nights it was so good to have a couple of room and bed and we are actually just checking out now and we are driving a couple hours up 
I think that is a place called Barn Hill. We're gonna be camping again for a couple nights, which will be really nice. And then we're heading up even further. We've got two more places to go to after that, and then we're heading home. So we're kind of in like the second week of our holiday now. But yeah, I thought I'd just quickly show you the little hostel we are staying at. I'm all packed up, ready to go. We're going to the little market this morning to get coffees and some yum food. So I'll show you guys the market as well. I think it'll be a little different to the one that we went to the other day. But yeah, we've just been like hanging by the pool and just having a really chill time. So I haven't been filming that much, but I will take you guys along when we go up the coast a bit. But yeah, it is beautiful here. So nice to be on holiday again. The planes go here, that's ridiculous. That's where we flew in. Oh my god. <laughs> we have just arrived at our next campsite. I'll show you some clips from the road driving in. It was like this red dirt road the whole way and it was so bumpy and I literally had to like run out every like hundred meters and open the gates because there was like gates stopping all the wild animals getting in. We're here for the next two nights. We're gonna go explore the campground now and go find the beach and all that. So I will show you when we find it. I think there's a barbecue and live music on tonight, which should be fun as well. So I will show you guys that. But yeah, we're just settling in. The water is literally back there. It's so pretty. So I'll show you guys when we go find the next spot. have just come down to the beach and there is some horses down there. I don't know if you can see but it is sunny. The earth is so red. Having a cheese or break from dancing. Look, it's crazy. Like the rest of the cliff must have fallen down and these ones just stayed, but like, wow. So pretty. So we've just walked around and found these amazing freestanding cliffs that have like obviously fallen all around it. It's actually insane. They are so big. I don't know how they haven't fallen too. Um, anyway, the rocks are so beautiful here. We're gonna walk up now and go for a swim because it is so hot, but I thought I'd just show you guys how crazy these are. I'm up in the clouds when it's pouring rain we have been lying on the beach for the past couple hours and it is stunning. It is so pretty here and there's barely any people here, which is so nice. I'm reading a new book, which I've got to get through because I just bought another book. So I've got two books to get through this week. But yeah, I'm not really doing much. So I'll check in with you guys later. I was just peacefully reading my book on the beach and Dan's like, look up and I look up and there is a shark, like, I kid you not, three meters out from shore, right where we'd be swimming. And I look up and I fully see it. So it's probably gonna be the last swim that I have this holiday because I tried to film, but I don't think I got it on film, but it was genuinely up to like your knee. And it's just a shark, you know, swimming along. So, love that. And now I'm so hot and I want to go for a swim, but like, I'm too scared. So I'm just gonna like dunk my head in the ankle deep water. I'm on gate duty. <laughs> Thanks for the gate. 
every like 500 meters there's one of these gates you have to like jump out of the car and open <laughs> so i'm on gate duty <laughs> so we have just checked in to our next place we are staying at echo beach and it's so cool we're staying in this little tent but it's like a canvas one it's already set up i'm gonna show you guys a little tour plus we literally have the first tent so the water is like right there it's stunning we just had lunch up at that restaurant up there we're gonna do yoga tomorrow there and now i'm gonna take you into the tent like how bougie is this so fancy do you walk in it's like a full tent but it's like already made up so it's mum and dad's up in there and then sid and i are on the little bunk beds and we've even got our own bathroom through here which is so nice because we have been in campgrounds and all that kind of stuff for like almost a week now so it is so nice having our own bathroom and our own beds and it's actually so pretty here so yeah we're about to go for a swim because it's like 30 degrees and i'm so hot i'll take you along to the pool when we go but yeah so keen to say i was staying here for two nights wake up in the morning talk to god what he say he said blessing blessing blessings coming my way and i said thank you sienna has got the drinks we have just come down the beach at the front of the little resort we're staying at for some sunset drinks. It's pretty cloudy, but there's some colors over there. And it is actually just stunning what we're saying. There's these hammocks, little couches. Like, it's so fancy. We don't normally stay in nice, well, we say, no, we don't normally stay in nice places. We stay in like campgrounds, not always. So this is like such a treat. It is so stunning, so I'm gonna enjoy. I think we're having vodka grapefruits. I'm gonna go enjoy that. Um, and then we're gonna cook our own dinner and probably have it down here too. Okay guys, um, ignore the ridiculous headphones that I can't be bothered untangling because I hate to say it, I really think I've lost my AirPods. Um, I'm hoping they turn up somewhere when I unpack everything from this holiday, but it's not looking good. Anyway, so we stayed in that fancy tent last night and it poured with rain. I took some footage, but it was pitch black, but I'll show you the sound. It was insane. Like, I've never heard rain like that before. Lucky we were in like an already built tent because if Sienna and I were in our tiny tent we would have literally washed away but we're meant to do yoga this morning so mum dad and Sienna are doing yoga <laughs> and I have like really bad asthma and I took one breath of the yoga smells like the mats and all that like um scents like incense and stuff and just started having like a literal asthma attack so I've taken myself down to the beach I'm just going for a big walk because I feel like you just can't cough in yoga it's so like calm and I was just like having a coughing fit and it was just so awkward. Anyway, I'm walking along the beach. It's a bit stormy because of the rain. So hopefully, I think it's meant to clear up later. Wow, I'm so out of breath. <sighs> but yeah, if it doesn't clear up, I'm not sure what we're gonna do today because it's literally a beach here. Maybe go on some more walks. I'll let you guys know. Oh my God, I just looked outside and there's just chickens. Like, <laughs> what? Um, please don't come in. I'm actually, oh my god, oh my god, I'm actually pleased. These are the biggest chickens I've ever seen. Look at their feet. Oh my god. I can't by myself too. Mom, come back. We have just spent the whole day by the pool. And then this morning I vlogged and it was so cloudy and miserable. And it's like been the most beautiful hot day. So we literally just lay by the pool the whole day. We just had a cheeky happy hour cocktail. So yum. So fly in those Gucci slides. Yeah, yeah. I wonder where she hides under her disguise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be something that a feature. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something that a feature. You'll find her. So we have just made it to one of our last places we're staying at. We're staying in this little cute cabin back there. I'm just walking down to the beach now. I'm going to go explore a little bit. Oh, it is sunny. Sienna's already down there, so I'm going to go try to find her. But this place is so cute. It's like a private property, and then there's like three little cabins on it. So there's like barely anyone else here, and it's so sunny. I'll show you the view. But yeah, I'm a bit lost. Um, 
So I was trying to feel my way. Look how stunning this view is. I think we're gonna have some fit drinks at this little table later. But honestly, this beach is like our own little private beach. There's people swimming down there. It's so pretty. Wow. Well. We've got to find Sienna. I don't know where she is. Maybe that's her lying down. Okay, I've found a little sign. Looks like it is this way. It's actually stunning here. Cheers! <laughs> So we have just come to sit on the beach and this sign says there's been a crocodile warning and the beach is closed. I think we're going to have to think of a plan B. Despite all the crocodile warning signs, the family has still decided to come down to the beach. So I'm just heading back. I'm going to let them get in first because they literally saw a crocodile on this exact beach this morning. We've just walked around to the other beach and this is still the same sign today. Awesome. This is the third warning sign that we have seen telling us not to come to this exact beach. But yet here we are. Definitely okay. We just saw people leaving this beach now. But we're just walking around. We're at Cape Levec. We're camping here for two nights. It is so pretty here. We're heading back to Broome tomorrow for our last night and then we find out. I thought I'd just quickly update. I haven't vlogged in a couple of days, but we're actually in Perth on our way back to Melbourne now. We're stopping over for one night and then we fly back to Melbourne tomorrow. So we've already said bye to mum and dad. We've left them up in where are they? Somewhere in WA, I don't really know. Um, <laughs> and Sienna and I are walking out for dinner now. Dad's so cute, he booked this really cute hotel like right on the beach, the beach is literally right there. But it's pissing out with rain and new COVID rules have come into play. So we actually can't really go anywhere. So I'm just gonna try to find somewhere cute for dinner. But yeah, I'll check in when we land back in Melbourne. Yeah.